Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I want to put these two different buckets through some stress test to find out if it's really worth it to spend the money on a tooth bar or a piranha bar or any kind of a serrated cutting edge for your bucket. The green bucket is the one that came with the tractor. The only modifications done to it is the chain hooks on top. The black bucket that is actually on the tractor is from Everything Attachments. It has their Wicked tooth bar on the front. I'll give you an up close shot of it, but it's it's uh it's got teeth on it with serrated edge on the teeth. It's really thick material. I've used it a lot. It shows no wear. I've been someone endorsing the product, but I'm also aware there's such a thing as a placebo effect and there's only one way to really find out, can you dig better with it? And that's to do side by side, in the same dirt, same situation with both buckets and see how much difference it makes. So we're gonna try a variety of different tasks, including back dragging, and if we can find a good spot, maybe trying to rip out some saplings and, and try to determine, are these products really worth your money? The first test I wanna try is Digging in, not like to dig a hole, but just to grade off the top layer of dirt over here where I've already been working. So this soil is a little bit softer. It's not, the ground we're gonna try to actually dig into is hard packed over time. This should be a little bit softer. I'm gonna see if we can just peel the top layer off with a level bucket. I think we'll start each test with the factory bucket and then switch to the piranha style and see how much difference it makes. So, my initial takeaway, and I'll get a better feel for this when I watch the video, but it seemed like the standard bucket cut better. It's more of a pointed edge where this is a little bit thicker, and I guess it makes more complete contact with the soil. I don't have an answer. The bottom line is, either it's better or it's not. And probably no real winner here, but if I was giving a winner, it's the standard bucket. So. Now, we're gonna try it on some harder packed dirt. Because normally, I can't pull up into someone's yard, drop my bucket, and just peel the top layer off like that. Not sod, not hard packed, dry dirt. This was recently dug up and then repacked. So, that's why I started there, so we could at least dig. Now we're gonna try to dig into this hard packed ground and see if the cutting edge makes a difference.
when I first started digging this part, it felt like the stock bucket was the clear winner again. I was really shocked thinking, why is this? And then I remembered that the, the tooth bucket is 60 inches wide, the stock bucket's 57. So the wider surface that you're contacting the ground, the more difficult it will be. So there's a little bit of a built-in advantage to the stock bucket. After I got done, I got out here and looked at the two holes. This second hole is deeper, so I don't know if there's a clear winner here. Next thing I want to do is try back dragging. A lot of people are concerned when you put a tooth bucket on, how will it do back dragging? So I'm going to fill in the hole we just made here and the holes we made over there by pulling back with the bucket. I've done a lot of back dragging with that bucket. Seems like it does just fine. I don't know that there was any real difference there. If anything, there's a lip on the underside of the bucket. So when you, when you tilt it down to flat, it's more likely to grab a rock and pull it. But otherwise, it works fine for back dragging. I've got one more test between these two, and that's ripping up some shrubs and bushes where you're, you're gonna be kind of trying to push through the root system of it. And that's supposed to be an area where that serrated edge is going to shine. So let's find out.
Uh, you guys saw the same thing I saw. I would think that that shrub over there, the tooth bar, was maybe cutting through the roots a little bit better. But this stock bucket just seems to get under or dig deeper easier. And I was able to get under it better. So from all the tests I've done, I would give a little bit of an advantage to the stock bucket. And just being honest with you, I have a lot of conversations on forums and, and Facebook groups about tractors and attachments. And when someone asks, I tell them that that bucket I have up there with the uh, wicked edge on it, I tell them it's great and recommend it to people. I can't do that anymore because best case scenario, let's say it was a tie between these two buckets. One of them you already have and then are you going to how are you going to justify spending another $800 on that bucket or $400 on the bar? I just, from this test, I expected to proclaim how great the Wicked Bucket is and just not what we saw. I think this was a really good test. Now the Wicked Tooth Bar that I'm using has the big teeth alternating with the small teeth and a serrated edge. It's similar to the Piranha Style Bar, but there's another completely different bar that you guys have probably seen from Heavy Hitch that has the long two-pronged teeth on it that's going to be completely different results than this. So I'd like to get my hands on a Heavy Hitch tooth bar and recreate this experiment and see how it fares because I think it's going to be a much more aggressive digger and would have won some of these challenges but might have struggled with the back dragging. It's a test I'd like to do if I ever get the chance. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links over here to a couple more of our videos and I'll see you next time.